Well, welcome everyone to Life in Muskoka, and today I've got a guest with me, Joel. Uh, here we are a couple of weeks into 2023, January, the mid uh, time, you know, we're in the deep throes of winter, even though it's been raining here in Muskoka the last few days. Uh, but I wanted to touch on a couple of things uh, from Sunday. Sunday we talked about the process, actually, and we used Peter as an example, that there is this process we go through where we believe, we say, I'm a believer, but then we saw how Peter failed miserably when he denied his Lord three times, but then he was reinstated. And how necessary it is that we, we go from a level of, I believe, to actually knowing. And it's a deep-seated through experience. And we've been given great and precious promises that we may be partakers of the divine nature. As a Christian, that's the goal is to partake of this divine nature. Yeah. Daniel talks about the people that know their God. Will be strong. Yeah. And do great exploits. Yeah. So there's that gap yeah. in between I believe and then I know. And that seems to be the, the stumbling block. There's people who say, well, you know, I went to church and I, I said the prayer and I believe, but then uh, I'm not seeing a change. Uh, but in order to have that change in our life, it's like we have to fail. But then through the failure, you know, we looked at that in the life of Peter. He denied the Lord three times and it was prophesied by the Lord. You're going to deny me three times, but I've prayed that the enemy wouldn't sift you. And then, you know, Peter fails and then the Lord reinstates him after. And that just boggles my mind because that is knowing the love of God. We've got a, an ability to partake of the divine nature, you know, to be careful of the little foxes. Mm -hmm. that, that spoil the vine. Yeah, that spoil the vine. So some of those little foxes can just be personal, personal discipline. What do we believe about ourselves? Yeah. And I think that's a big thing. I am a big sports fan. It's so interesting when you actually look at an athlete how they have dedicated themselves to excel at this one thing, whether it's basketball, hockey, or football. Mm -hmm. But it's that discipline that makes them better. And I think a lot of the times we don't we misunderstand what discipline is. Discipline actually, yes, it can hurt sometimes, but it actually pulls out the greatness in you. To be a disciple of Christ is a disciplined one mm -hmm. to be a partaker of the divine nature okay well we're talking this is some big language seek first the kingdom of god yeah. but it doesn't just end with seeking the kingdom of god and in his righteousness so we recognize that in order to be a follower of christ to be a disciplined one we have to partake of the divine nature and not out of our righteousness failure yeah is actually part of the process because when we fail in our own attempts, yeah. that's when we actually come to the place where, again, Scripture says we lose our life, and in losing our life, we actually find our life. It can be painful sometimes. Mm. Going through that process is where you get to that place where you get to partake of His divine nature. Yes. Because it's not, it, it doesn't become about you anymore. A lot of the times we we hear the saying that we need to die to ourselves and put on Christ. But you're also invited into a greater level of partnership. And, and we are a whole walk of God. The main thing is to get closer to Him. It's actually Christ is in the center. Yeah. He, he is the focus Rather than me focusing on getting my demands met in my timeline, yeah. to be a disciple of Christ, I'm learning how to partake of his divine nature, which is seeking first his kingdom and his righteousness, knowing about myself that, okay, that through the sacrifice of what Christ did on the cross, I have access to grace. I have access to forgiveness. I have access to humility. I have so. It's that process of learning how to look to Him in all our situations rather than looking at myself. Oh, I failed again, or I this, or I need to do better. Yeah. When it's realized, he, he actually did it all. It talks about seek ye first of the kingdom and all His righteousness. That's actually connected to John 15, verse 7, that if we ask for anything in mm. His name, He will give it. When that becomes a practice of seeking first of the kingdom of God, you can actually ask the Father in his name and he will give it to you because he can trust you. 
Wow. And those little foxes we got to watch out for that spoil the vine yeah. because he said in John 15 that you just referred to, I am the true vine yeah. and you are the branches. Mm -hmm. So it's clear that he's the vine, but it's us, our job is to, uh, you know, take care of those little foxes that try to spoil the growth or the fruit. And those little foxes can be things like complaining, yeah. harshness, meditating on uh, negative thoughts yep. rather than meditating on a scripture. It can be bitterness. Yep. It can be a disappointment you've had on to Even small things, yep. just by holding on to a grudge or an offense. I'm a vine, he's the branches, and it talks about abiding in him. But it talks about that sometimes we go through a process of pruning. Hmm. And it's not just pruning the bad fruit. Sometimes it's pruning good fruit so it can bear more fruit. So good. And sometimes there's things in our lives that we're like, hey, that was great in this season. And God's like, hey, it was good, but I have something more for you. Will you trust me? Wow, that's so good, Joel. And we'll just end on that, that, you know, that is putting him in the center, mm -hmm. trusting that his plans for us are good. Yeah. And the work that he started in you, he's faithful to complete it. So good. Wow.